Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in this afternoon. Um, earlier in the week, Maria and I had just finished recording our video for you when we learned about the passing of our friend and colleague, Ryan Anthony. Ryan was the principal trumpet of the Dallas Symphony. He was an amazing musician and trumpet player and an extraordinary human being. Um, I don't know someone who impacted or influenced more people than he did. We would like to dedicate today's performance of the Sanson Fantasy to his memory. And if you would like to support his mission of fighting cancer and multiple myeloma, I've included links to Cancer Blows and the Ryan Anthony Foundation in this video's description. Thanks so much.
everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Open Bar. We're on week three. Uh, my name is Emily Levine. I'm the principal harpist with the Dallas Symphony, uh, also artistic director of the Fine Arts Chamber Players. And I am violinist Maria Schleining. Happy to be here with Emily today. And I also play in the Dallas Symphony, violinist, and I am artistic director of Voices of Change New Music Ensemble. And we just played for you the first movement of Nighttime for Violin and Harp by Sebastian Courier. And that movement was called Dusk. And I just wanted to tell you, share with you a little fact about Sebastian Courier. He is somebody who I've admired for years and um, have known for a very, very long time. We taught at the Bowdoin Summer Music Festival together for 17 years. So That's so cool. Yeah. Um, so up next, we're going to hand it over to our friends at the People's Last Stand, one of my favorite bars, to guide you through this week's cocktail called the Bay of Pigs. And you are in for a treat. It is delicious. So, Devin, take it away. Hello, everyone. My name is Devin Crook from the People's Last Stand. And I'm going to be showing you guys one of our signature cocktails named the Bay of Pigs. Now, this cocktail is comprised of maple syrup, black walnut bitters, a spiced pear liqueur, as well as a smoked bourbon that we make in-house. Now first, just to show you guys how we make the smoked bourbon, you're gonna get a jar like this, something similar to this, I'm sure you have laying around your house somewhere. Uh, we add our bourbon to the jar. After that, we build a bowl made out of foil, and we're gonna sit that bowl right inside of the jar. After that, we are going to poke holes with a skewer or a toothpick. Poke it right inside of the foil there. After that, we are going to add vanilla pipe tobacco, hickory wood chips, and mesquite wood chips. And to smoke it, we are going to grab a torch, go ahead and get a nice flame going over the ingredients inside of the jar. Once you get a nice flame going, we're going to get the, the jar lid, and we're gonna cap it just like this. After we kill the flame with the lid, it'll smoke all of the bourbon up, and we're going to do that three times. So now, jumping into the cocktail. First, we are going to add our maple syrup. We're going to do a quarter ounce of maple syrup. After that, we are going to do three dashes of black walnut bitters. Next, we will do our spiced pear liqueur. We are going to do a half ounce. And last but not least, our smoked bourbon. We're going to do two ounces. So now let's go ahead and add our ice and stir it. You typically want to stir this cocktail for maybe 10 or 15 seconds just to make sure that you have the right amount of dilution in the cocktail, and also to make sure that your cocktail is cold. Now, so we can get some aromatics into our glass, we're gonna go ahead and flame a cedar wood plank. Get a nice flame going on there. Then we're going to kill the flame with the glass, and it should smoke your glass up. So now, after that, after we get the glass nice and smoky, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over, add our ice. Nice, large ice cube. And then we are going to strain the cocktail right over the top of the ice. And there you go. That is our Bay of Pigs. Thank you so much to Devin and thank you Jacob for helping us put this together. Um, for those of you at home, I hope that you enjoy your cocktails. And we are about to enjoy playing one of our favorite pieces. Um, it's by the French composer Camille Sesson and it is his fantasy for violin and harp. Now this piece is longer than other pieces you've been listening to if you've been here for previous weeks. Um, but it falls naturally into about five different sections. 
So I think you'll feel the music sort of shift moods as he wanders through different ideas. But it's an absolutely beautiful piece and we hope you enjoy it.
for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed the music, the cocktails. Thank you to Maria for coming over here and playing with me. For having me. This was so <laughs> nice. Um, please join us next week for our last installment of Open Bar with me and the uh, bassoonist Ted Salori from the Dallas Symphony. It should be a lot of fun. So have a great rest of your night and talk to you later. Perfect. Great.